Portland police dispelling rumors of a serial killer after the community raised concerns about the deaths of six women in a short amount of time. And this was making national news. Yeah, so many questions about this big mystery and concerns too. Liz B. Birch digging deeper and speaking with the families of one of those women today. Liz, what are you learning? Well, those deaths happened over the span of about four months with enough similarities to cause a lot of concern and speculation within the community. Now, police saying they don't believe they are connected. But of course, the families of those victims are still desperate for answers. All of these women were loved. The deaths of several women happened all over the Portland metro, with some of the cases being investigated as suspicious deaths and homicide. One of those victims was 32-year-old Joanna Speaks. According to law enforcement, she was found dead near an abandoned barn in Ridgefield on April 8th. I spoke to her sisters today about the Bureau's announcement that these cases are not connected. I was definitely frustrated. Um, it felt like there wasn't any evidence to suggest that they're not connected and not that we want to pressure the public into thinking that they are, but I think that nobody should have a sense of false security. In addition to saying they have no reason to believe the cases are connected, police are also saying a death in April on 95th in Southeast Clavel is not a homicide investigation and there's no indication of foul play. That body was found in a tent. Joanna's sisters say she was also struggling with addiction and homelessness. They hope the community will continue to reach out with information and to watch out for the most vulnerable among us. Just for anything to be brought to our attention, any tips, nothing is too small. Um, and just remember that you're loved and women need to be vigilant right now. And whether it's one person or six people doing this. And I would say if you have a family member or loved one, like battling addiction, mental illness, homelessness, now is the time to reach out And if you do know anything about those five deaths, reach out to law enforcement. We have a lot of information about those deaths and how you can reach out with a tip on coin.com. Live in Portland, Liz Birch, Coin 6 News. Yeah.